For the latest in strategic affairs, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon for updates. There was a time when these verdant valleys and hills echoed to the staccato rattle of gunfire, to the harsh cries of fierce Pathan tribesmen from Pakistan's northwest frontier, intent on raiding, looting, and killing. There was panic and terror as people fled hamlets and small towns all over the Kashmir Valley. We are not talking of Kashmir over the last decade or even of the last few decades. This was Kashmir in 1947. It was a tumultuous period as India was partitioned with two halves of Pakistan, one in the west and another in the east. The Muslim majority state of Pakistan demanded the Kashmir Valley since it was majority Muslim. But the hereditary Raja of Jammu and Kashmir was Hari Singh, a Hindu who hoped to remain independent. Pakistan sought to settle the matter in its favour by sending armed tribesmen into the territory. Raja Hari Singh sought India's help, which he got after signing the Instrument of Accession. The signing of the Instrument of Accession saw India dispatch troops to the valley and it was saved. But there was a price paid. Pakistan retained a chunk of the Kashmir Valley it named Azad Kashmir with the line of control in between the two halves. Pakistan also kept Gilgit and Baltistan that India refers to as Pakistan occupied Jammu and Kashmir. Also lost was the Shaksgam Valley bordering Tibet which Pakistan illegally handed over to China. This has persisted over the last 75 years and for reasons that are not known India did not press its claim to Pakistan held Kashmir. This was the case even after Islamabad unleashed the terror weapon first in Punjab and then Kashmir. The BJP government has been more forthright about India's claims to all of Kashmir. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh reiterated that in Srinagar on the occasion of Infantry Day. <laughs> हमारी यात्रा तो तब पूरी होगी जब हम 22 फरवरी 1949 को भारतीय संसद में सर्वसम्मत पारित हुए प्रस्ताव को अमल में लाएंगे और उसके अनुरूप हम अपने बाकी बचे हिस्से जैसे गिलगित और बालिस्तान तक बालिस्तान तक पहुंचे Does this mean India will go to war? No. It is a message to Pakistan and the world that this country has rights to all of Kashmir and in the long term will realize that. There is no deadline set, no promise of recourse to arms, just a simple statement of India's intention. India also moved to put its domestic house in order. Three years ago, Article 370 that gave Jammu and Kashmir special status was revoked. This was anyway a temporary measure but was being used by separatist groups, politicians and elements of the bureaucracy to feather their own nests. Jammu and Kashmir is now a union territory which has enabled the centre to extend the ambit of legislation to benefit backward classes, poor rural households, women and girls and so on. Most important, terrorism is at an all-time low. Infiltration across the line of control is down to a trickle. Attacks by militants is also down. Stone pelting is rare. An army and civil administration backed Hearts and Minds program has reached out to young people in former terror infested districts Pooch, Handwara, Kupwara, and others. There is renewed focus on better deliverables in terms of health, schooling, sports and travel to other parts of India. For many children, these visits are eye-openers to an India 
they have never known. De-radicalizing former terrorists and militants through the Sahi Rasta program, Sahi Rasta meaning right way, has had a measure of success. It also helps the administration keep tabs on them and build an information network down to the village level. But the war against Pakistan-inspired and supported terrorism is a long way from getting over. An essential element of this war is the government focus on Atmanirbhar defence, which has seen the armed forces shift procurement of hardware to domestic manufacturers and suppliers. From tactical drones to cruise missiles, armoured vehicles to artillery, buying equipment designed and built locally for local conditions is policy cast in stone. This has brought down the cost of equipment, freed up money for other essential purchases and encouraged industry to invest, research and make in India. So from the time what happened in 47, 48 to the time where we are 75 years down the lane, uh, the capacities and the capabilities have, you know, uh, have got upgraded uh, multifold. So where we were 75 years back and where we are today, we are, I think, fully prepared to fight a very, very comprehensive, integrated battle which will unfold uh, in the future. Equipped with Indian hardware for what are Indian problems, the army has been able to plug gaps in its counter-infiltration grid on the line of control, which in turn has given the police breathing space to reorganize themselves, fine-tune intelligence and raise the heat on terrorists, their sympathizers and suppliers. Of course, nothing is perfect. Drug consignments continue to enter India through the line of control with Titwal, a major hub. Interdiction is a hit and miss affair given the vast and hilly terrain marked with ravines and fast flowing Neelam river below that enters Pakistan held Kashmir. Drug packets are sometimes dropped by drones and inevitably arms, ammunition and even mines are being delivered from across the LOC. The BSF on the international border with Pakistan has reported dozens of cases of drones crossing the LOC late at night to deliver weapons. Some are shot down, others get through. While India has done much to change the narrative in Kashmir, terrorism and infiltration will remain so long as there is no transformation in how Pakistan views India. The military's dominance in foreign and security policy and its interference in domestic politics now stands at the crossroads. Will Pakistan transform? While there is always hope, the cynical view is Pakistan's ruling elite needs India as the enemy to stay on top and religion provides the fodder to keep the masses motivated. Should India step up its claims to the parts of Kashmir Pakistan occupies? India has started doing that, but one does not get a sense of a wider plan. Or perhaps such plans cannot be made public for obvious reasons. Most important is for India to ensure that our part of Kashmir develops and grows. There can be no better proof of the inclusive Indian state. With Aditya Lenka and Rohit Pandita in Kashmir, Nilanjana Banerjee for Strat News Global.